All right, I think we should be live. Let's just go ahead and see if the stream is coming through. All right, someone already said hi. What's up, Ken? Thank you for tuning in. That was actually ridiculously fast. All right, let's go ahead and pause this. And cool, what's up? We have Hopeless. Phineas, what's up, guys? Thank you for tuning in. Great to see everyone. I used to not announce these streams on my Discord server, but now I think I'm going to start doing that along with um, like the YouTube notification. What's up, Piano? What's up, Other? What's up, Fitz? Tim, Livy, Pranav, Dave, Mochi, Mateo. What's up? What's up? We have Jade, Smallin, No, Caleb, Walter, uh, Lord Bear. What's up, guys? Thank you for tuning in. LND, JEA, Jaden. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up, JS Tries? Shout out to you. Thank you for tuning in. I feel like I always give a, uh, JS Tries like a shout out every single stream. We have Caleb, Khalid, uh, someone named Minecraft, uh, Eighth. Uh, hopefully I got that correct. Rose, KSR, Banana. Almond, Dakota. What's up, guys? Thank you for tuning in. I love these. I'm glad. I really do enjoy doing these live streams. And guys, just in case if this is your first live stream, I try to do these streams multiple times a week, and it's pretty much just me playing a game as I do a live Q&A. So I'll be answering your guys' questions about school, homework, study tips, college applications, pretty much anything that comes to mind. And so as you guys are rolling in, feel free to start asking your questions as well. I'll go ahead and start answering them very, very soon. What's up, uh, William? Thank you for tuning in. What's up, Trippy? Hello, hello. We have a lot of new people here. What's up, guys? It's so great to see everyone. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and send out a poll. I'm going to ask, is this your first live stream? Because I am actually very curious. So what's up, Doug? Great to see you. Is this your first stream? Uh, yes. No, let's go ahead and create a poll. Let's go ahead and see what you guys say. And as you guys are answering that poll, let me just go ahead and tell you or show you where we are in Minecraft so far. We've made some pretty decent progress, I guess, compared to previous streams where we were like just mining. So we have a house built. We have our chest placed. We have our diamonds placed. We have a bed. We have crafting tables. We have torches, which is pretty decent progress. I think in today's stream, as I'm answering questions, I'm going to decorate the house a little bit more and maybe find more resources. But we'll kind of figure that out together in the stream chat in just a second here. And I see the questions are slowly rolling in. What's up, guys? Uh, love from India. Do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's see. Oh, we have a $4, uh, $5 super chat already. Thank you so much, uh, Shorts with Carter. What is there to know about architecture? Okay, so to be honest, I, I never took any architecture courses. I had one friend who took a couple. So I'll, I don't know, don't know too much, but what I can tell you is this, is that it's a lot of, it's so much more work than people think it is. I think a lot of people, when they think architecture, they just think drawing, but like the amount of time architecture majors spent in the studio is kind of absurd. And I made a video about this a while ago that was kind of poking fun at architecture majors. I'm not sure if you guys uh, saw that short, but it was kind of funny. To be fair though, I don't know too much about the major, but if you DM me on Instagram, I'd be happy to give you my, uh, more detailed thoughts, more insights, and kind of look into it more as well. And by the way, my Instagram handle is Gohar's Guide. but thank you once again for the super chat. I do want to make sure that I answer your question thoroughly, so feel free to go ahead and DM me on Instagram. And people are enrolling, more people are even rolling in right now. What's up, guys? Thank you for tuning in. And let me just go ahead and tell you guys what this live stream is all about. So... Once again, a live Q&A, you can ask me anything about school, study tips, homework help, college applications, and I'll do my best to answer as many questions as I can while also playing Minecraft here in the background. So let me go ahead and end the poll. 70% of you guys said yes, this is your first stream. That's actually so, wow, that's pretty high. I feel like I just have to do these more often and then maybe you guys kind of tune in every single day and I don't know, it could become like a fun little routine. Okay. So before I answer my first question, I kind of just want to figure out what we should do in Minecraft. So as I'm answering the question, I want to keep you guys entertained. Should we decorate the house? Should we look for obsidian? And if we look for obsidian, we can then build like an enchantment table and maybe go to the nether and, you know, do other things. We could decorate, we could go up, get obsidian. Or, hmm... What else could we do? We could make a farm, I guess, maybe. Let me, I'll just throw that in just in case if you guys might be interested in that. So let's just go ahead and see what you say. What should we do? We could, uh, let's see, decorate. We could find obsidian or we can go ahead and also do, uh, create a farm. Okay, 
make a farm. And now you guys can go ahead and start asking your questions. Oh, thank you so much, Spider Bros, for the 199 super chat. How do I study for regents for high school? Once again, I'll be fully transparent. That's something that I'm not too familiar with. But if you DM me on Instagram, once again, I'll do my best to give you my best advice possible uh, because I really do appreciate the super chat. Okay, we have 40%. People want me to make a farm. That's so surprising. Okay, decorate is in last place. Find obsidian is in the middle. Oh, okay. Decor okay, find obsidian and make a farm are about to tie each other here. We're at about 173 votes. Okay, make a farm is in a slight lead. Find obsidian is a bit behind. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, find a farm is taking the lead now. So I think... Hmm. Okay, I ended the poll. Here's the thing. I have never made a farm in Minecraft. I Whenever I've done survival worlds with like friends and stuff, like they'll do it, but I have never done it myself. So I think maybe we'll just go with obsidian. Uh, because that's a bit easier too. So here, let's just make sure. Let's make a diamond. We already have a diamond pickaxe. Cool. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and mine for a little bit. And while we are doing that, I'm going to go ahead and start answering questions. And guys, here's the thing when it comes to the questions. They have been getting kind of redundant uh, over the past few streams. So if you have been in previous streams and if you have any questions that you can't recall me answering, go ahead and try to ask them. I love questions that are conversation starters. For example, questions like, what do I do if I have a bad teacher? Or, you know, what, like, how do I deal with like a bad roommate in college, for example? I feel like those are like fun questions that we can have a conversation about. So go ahead and try to drop them in the stream chat here. And in the meantime, I think I know what our chords are, but let me just go ahead and pull it out again. Okay. Chords are 725, negative 243. Let me just go ahead and put that in my phone so I do not lose that. Okay. 725, negative 243. What's up, Arya? Thank you for tuning in. Is AP Calc worth it? I think AP Calc is definitely worth it. It was one of my favorite AP classes, to be honest, because I do enjoy math. And I think I can already hear what a lot of students are saying, right? Like, how is calculus relevant to my actual life? For example, chances are you're never going to use integrals beyond AP calculus. You know, maybe in an intro college calc course, but that's about it. But I think it helps you develop a way of thinking that's just very useful. It helps you think more technically and logically. And that's the sort of thinking skill that's going to help you a lot through other harder courses. And also AP Calc is going to come in handy for other AP courses as well. For example, like AP Chemistry a little bit, even though it's not super connected. You know, I think you will find some areas where you can apply calculus knowledge, for example, to the sciences um, and in your AP sciences to be more specific. Okay, what other questions do we have? Tips for pre-K. I feel like that's like a running joke that we just always have. It's like someone always asks like tips for uh, like pre-K or something. What is the worst subject for you? So me personally, I wasn't a huge fan of history. I was, I was good at history. I got A's in all my history classes, but compared to my science courses, history was not as fun for me. Lazy Beats, I'm a day one. I appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in. All right. Best way to take notes. Okay, so when it comes to taking notes, this might be a little bit controversial, but I recommend... Oh, this is not a cave. Okay. I recommend that you take fewer notes. I feel like sometimes when we're taking notes in class, we're not paying as much attention as we should be to the actual lecture. And I found this to be the case for me in college. For example, I was so obsessed with writing down all of the correct diagrams, all the formulas, and I wasn't really listening to the lecture as I was taking these notes. And so when I would go back to look at them, I would just be so confused. I would be like, oh my God, what does this actually mean? What is this actually about? And I would simply find myself re-watching the lecture recording. So my advice is to take fewer notes, and when you do take notes, take them in your own words. And so that way you're forcing yourself to actually process the content, and you're not just scribbling down everything as fast as humanly possible, which is not the best way to learn, in my opinion. 
What other questions do we have here? Let's go ahead and see. All right, and by the way, if you guys are just tuning in, we're trying to find the cave to mine some obsidian, and that way we can create an enchanting table, make potions, uh, go to the nether, and, you know, do a bunch of other things as well. What other questions... What is the hardest part of school slash something you struggled with? I will answer that question in a slightly different way, but it's kind of similar. I'll tell you guys the hardest part of college because, and it's kind of funny, uh, if you guys are subscribed to my newsletter, I actually sent out an email today sort of talking about the difference between high school and college. And so the hardest part of college is realizing that you are no longer I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that a lot of you guys who are tuning in right now are probably at the top of your class or somewhere near the top of your class. And the biggest wake up call for uh, when you go to college is that you can be valedictorian, you can be like the smartest in your school. And there are people in college that are 10, 20, 30 times smarter than you could have possibly even imagined. And so lots of students when they go to top schools, especially elite schools, they're met with a sense of imposter syndrome. You know, they start thinking, do I actually deserve to be here? Like, did the admissions officers make a mistake? And while those feelings weren't too strong for me freshman year, I did come across them a couple of times. I was like, oh my God, like some of these students did IMO, one gold, and they're sitting next to me in this class, which is kind of unbelievable. But after a while, you get used to it. You do sort of see the beauty and everyone having their own unique strengths that go beyond academics, for example. Uh, but it's a hard part of college, and it's something that can be a wake-up call, especially if you're used to just being an overachiever, in my opinion. Okay, I don't want to venture off too far from our base, so maybe we can just mine down and try to find a cave that way. But that was a good question. I do like answering questions like that, that are more, you know, a bit more personal. And that way I can share like my experiences with you guys as well. Uh, is there a high school equivalent of math counts? Not super familiar. I did see a math counts clip. This is like so random. This is not related to your question. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I, I've been seeing like math counts clips on my TikTok for you page, or I've seen only like one or two in the past couple of months, but it's so ridiculous to see how smart some of these math count students are. If you guys have never seen them, I recommend looking it up and you will be amazed by how fast some of these kids answer these math questions. And JJ3487, thank you for the $5 super chat. Should I drop out of college? I want to be a real estate agent and I will be in lots of student lo uh, loan debt if I continue college. I'm a freshman. In your case, I would recommend considering transferring if the school is not affordable dropping out of college entirely there is a lot of value in a college education especially if you can get it for not cheaply but if you can get it at some sort of discounted price through scholarships so i would recommend looking into transferring maybe you can look into schools that have merit-based scholarships schools that you know have special programs that can give you the financial aid that you need but i, I, I would never recommend dropping out as the first thing to do. And nor is that something that I will suggest as it's a very personal decision. Oh, and by the way, guys, MIT decisions came out today. Did anybody here apply to MIT? If so, let me know in the stream chat. Okay, let's just get these chickens right here. Just want to let you know your vids have helped me a lot through the years. I went from being above average as top students in my school. It did take a lot of time, but it worked. I am so happy to hear Fatima. Thank you so much for the kind words and congrats on being at the top of your class. Ethan, I did and I got in. That's incredible. Congrats. How do I stop procrastinating? I've answered this in previous streams. Here's the thing, I feel kind of bad about answering the same questions because I feel like we do have some return viewers and I don't wanna, I don't wanna bore them, but here, I might answer that in a bit, maybe towards the end of the live stream, but I'm also trying to pick up questions that I might not have addressed before.
Okay. We really aren't finding any caves. Oh, maybe this is something right here. Let's go ahead and see. Do I have enough food? Oh yeah, I do. I have a lot of uh, cooked pork chop here. Okay, let's see. What questions? How? Go hard. What are good electives? I mean, the thing about electives is that colleges won't judge them much. So it really just comes down to what's fun for you. In my case, for example, I really enjoyed taking the more technical electives. For example, my school had like a web design elective or not a web design. It was like a web apps elective, but it sort of veered into programming a little bit. I found that to be a ton of fun, especially since my school did not offer AP computer science. And then again, some electives are going to, uh, you know, like some of them are not going to relate to your intended major at all, but you know, that's, that's completely fine. The school, uh, does the school that you go to matter for your jobs? So I'll clear high school, no college. Yes, depending on the field that you want to go into. So if you are trying to go into consulting or finance, you know, that your pedigree, like the prestige of your degree is going to matter a decent amount. But in my opinion, if you're trying to go into tech, it's much more about your resume. Or not your resume, it's about like your portfolio and skill sets that, you know, those are the elements that are going to get you the job more so than the name of your college. Is band good? That's what I'm thinking about. Band is solid, yeah. Okay, what other questions? Do we, is high school hard? It's... It's challenging. I think... Obviously, freshman year... I was going to say freshman year is not as hard, but the reality is, I would say... Oh, there's a creeper right there. I mean, freshman year, for example, is tough because that's when you're getting used to high school. Sort of like the new rigor, the new sort of standards your teachers are going to hold you to. And then when you're a sophomore, junior, that's when you're going to be thinking a lot about college applications, extracurriculars. You're going to be doing a lot more outside of school than you did in middle school, for example. And that is going to get pretty stressful at times. And then of course, if you're tuning into my live stream, if you watch my channel, I assume that you're going to take a handful of AP classes and it's going to introduce you to a level of rigor that's just not introduced whatsoever in middle school. What's up Zyram, great to see you again. All right, what other questions do we have? Most APs I've taken, I've taken five AP classes in a year. That's the most I've taken. I think that was my senior year of high school. Okay, I have a question. Should we just mine down to find a cave or should I keep walking? What do you guys want to do? Just say mine or say walk. Just simple one word response in the stream chat. Because, oh, wait, 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 wait. I think... Mine down, mine, mine, mine. I'm seeing a lot of mines. Well, luckily, I don't think we have to mine because look at that. That goes very far down. So I think my, everyone's saying mine. Okay, well, we're, we're good. We don't need to mine anymore. We have everything here. We have our water bucket. So if we find lava, oh, you can, I think there's also lava pits at surface. So if you wanted to really find obsidian, we could just mix the lava or the water with the lava and just find obsidian at surface. Let me take a quick peek. I don't think there's any lava pools near us, but mm, maybe. Oh, okay. I guess we can just get obsidian up here. All right, sick. Okay, nice. And there's, oh, there's a baby zombie. I hate baby zombies. So they're so much harder to kill. Oh, okay. Okay, see, like if they're just somehow like, come on. There we go. There we go. Took out two zombies at the same time. This zombie right here has a sword. 
how to get stuff done as a seventh grader and a YouTuber. You're okay. I'm going to answer that question because when I was in sixth, seventh grade, I actually had a YouTube channel. So I was a seventh grader with a YouTube channel. I'll keep this brief though, because I'm assuming that most of you guys do not have YouTube channels nor are in seventh grade, but schools do have to come first. I think when it comes to seventh grade, it's better to just keep it more, more of a hobby. You should still take it seriously, but don't take it more seriously than school because like your middle school classes, for example, your grades are important, especially when enrolling into your you know, first set of high school courses. But I would say, you know, do it for fun. Don't take it too seriously. And I would say maybe do, like, like limit your upload schedule. Don't upload too many videos too frequently. Zarm, thank you for the 199 super chat. I'm procrastinating my homework by watching this. Well, hopefully you're still getting some value out of uh, our discussion here, but you should definitely go back to homework. <laughs> or maybe just mute me and just watch me play Minecraft in the background. Well. That's still going to be distracting, but I feel like it's a, it's a better way of multitasking. All right, so for a portal, I believe we need three, six, eight, eight pieces of obsidian. And then for a, an enchanting table, how many pieces do we need? Could you guys post it in the stream chat? So I'm going to say four. Four for an enchanting table. Someone is saying ten, four. Ten. Why are people saying? I know it's not fourteen. P, oh, fourteen in total. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, it's ten for portal. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, it's four on each side, and then yeah, yeah, it's eight. That's ten, and then enchanting table is four, so fourteen. Thank you guys for doing the math. Appreciate y'all. Okay, so we I think we got four, six already. Okay, cool. Oh, you don't need the corners? That's true. I'll get 14 just to be safe still. The nether's gonna be fun, and I'm kind of nervous as well. We have 18 levels, we have lapis. Okay, so we can enchant first before heading into the nether. Let's see. MIT advice. Ooh, okay, I might do college specific advice real quick, but I want you guys to post your dream school in the stream chat. That way I have an idea of, you know, the kinds of schools that you guys are thinking about. Stanford, MIT, Stanford. I've already seen Stanford twice. MIT, I'm seeing a handful of MITs, let's go, nice. Yale, Yale is fantastic. Harvard, Air Force Academy, nice. It's a lot. Tons of MITs, let's go. That's what we love to see. Mahad would not be happy right now if he saw this. <laughs> or maybe if Mahad were here, you guys would not be saying MIT as, as frequently, but. IIT, Waterloo, Stanford, MIT or Stanford, Georgia Tech. So are you guys planning, are most of you guys planning to study something in STEM? You can say yes or no. U Mitch, U Mitch is a fantastic school. UC Berkeley. Nah, yes. Oh, oh my God! For a second, I, I was looking at the chat, but I saw that I fell, and I thought I was about to fall into lava. Oh my God! My leg just fell asleep. Oh wow! I need to stand for a second. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! I cannot feel my like my calf for some reason. Like, Whoa, you kind of just felt like that, that weird, like static feeling in your leg. All right, we're at, oh, we have 14. Okay, cool. I'll get a couple extra just, just to be safe. Zaram, thank you for the 199 super chat. Third grade tips, please. That's so funny. I really wonder if we have actual like third graders watching this live stream right now. Hopefully not. I don't want you guys like stressing about like study tips that young. Okay, so then lots of people want to go to MIT, so I will give you MIT advice. MIT, in my opinion, is just a one of the most authentic top schools. I think lots of top schools 
they have like an air of pretentiousness around them. I think MIT, both the students and the admissions department, they're just very honest, very forthright. They just want humans. And so my w- couple pieces of advice then. First of all, be vulnerable in your application, be honest, and don't try to portray yourself as perfect. And by this, I don't mean you should like highlight flaws intentionally, but just be real with them. So for example, I've I cited this example a couple times in one of my MIT essays, I told them that I wanted to found a machine learning startup. And then I told them I didn't know anything about machine learning. And I said, that's why I want to go to MIT. I said, this is the stuff that I'm excited about. And lots of my essays were relatively humorous as well. They had a very conversational laid back tone. I was asking like, I was kind of questioning some of my own traits, asked like throwing in rhetorical questions, like humorous ones. And I feel like it made my application a lot more human. But I think it's an interesting approach, especially for MIT, because you would think that every single applicant, you know, has some sort of Olympiad medal. And yes, many of them do, but MIT also does accept a lot of students who don't have them and who aren't as, you know, maybe you could say accomplished in STEM, uh, but are accomplished in their own unique ways. For example, maybe they start a business, maybe they do local research, maybe they found like a nonprofit organization. You know, it's not just the science fair winners and Olympiad winners that are getting in. Okay, so we got the obsidian. And, okay, do we have, for a book we need How do we make a book again? Okay. Got to figure that out. Here. Okay. So let's just go ahead and I actually want to build the portal next to our house. So I don't want the enchanting table to be in our house as well. So let's go ahead and find our way back. We were at 725, negative 243. Okay. So let's just go down this way and then we'll kind of find our way. Oh, what other questions do we have? I heard you started a CS passion project. What was it about? So I'll be honest. I never started a passion project intentionally. You know, for example, there was never a moment when I was like, oh, I'm going to start this project so I can get into college. I sort of started coding in middle school or not sort of, I started coding in middle school and that's when I got really sucked into web dev, made a bunch of blogs, uh, gaming blogs, educational blogs, got obsessed with SEO for some reason in like seventh grade, which was like the weirdest thing. But that interest, you know, spanned, it continued through middle school into high school and my blog started gaining a bunch of traction. After some time, I put ads on them, which helped me make money off of them, and it eventually became a business. And so unintentionally, that became my passion project without me really even knowing. Oh, it was negative 243, so let's just go down this way. We went too far uh, to the left here. But then of course, you know those blogs, I also started like corresponding YouTube channels, which started gaining traction as well. And then in addition to the blogs, I also made web apps and, you know, web tools with PHP, JavaScript, HTML, CSS. And I highlighted a lot of that in my college application. Okay. When did you learn PHP? And I think the first time I used it was sixth grade, but I barely had any idea what I was doing. I think I started learning it more formally in seventh and eighth grade, which is ridiculous. I think I learned, I learned PHP initially through Code Academy and also books from the library. Like I, I literally got PHP books, which was so funny.
Did you have to memorize something last minute? I forgot to memorize a speech. I have, yes. I've had, I remember memorizing entire presentations the day before they were due. Some tips that I would have. Hmm. So if you're trying to memorize a speech, create markers. Like break it up into chunks. Don't try to memorize everything just at once or linearly. Try to, I mean, I guess in your case, right? You can just go paragraph by paragraph. I'm just trying to think what else I did. I mean, chances are your teacher might allow you to use a note card as well. And so that can be helpful. And you know, on the note card, you don't need to write all your points down. Maybe just write like the intro points down for each paragraph or like the initial or the starting word, for example, for each paragraph. So you just have to peek down, you know, you see the starting words and you kind of remember what it is that you have to say. I'm trying to think what else, what else did I do? I mean, honestly, beyond that, I just remember practicing a ton. Like I would go, I would do like 10, I would just close my room's door and I would do like 10, 12 practice rounds alone in my room. And I would just talk out loud, not look at the slides, not look at my computer and just pretend to actually give the presentation. And that of course helped a, helped a ton. It's hot dog. Thank you for the $2 super chat. How do you feel about the IB program? I think if students have the option to do IB courses or to enroll in IB, I recommend doing so 100%. And most students, you know, have the, like they won't have to really choose between IB or AP. Most schools only offer one or the other. So if you're aiming for top schools, it's something that I 100% recommend that you try out and try to maximize during your years in high school. Okay, let's see. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring a bunch of questions here in the chat. I think I'm gonna stop Minecraft here for now, about half an hour into the stream. I think, hmm. Answer a couple more questions here. What was your research project about? Uh, the focus was NLP, natural language processing, particularly when it came to product reviews on Amazon. Nothing too groundbreaking, but it was fun. It was a fun little project. Biggest college regret? Ooh, that is a good question. Ooh, okay, I have one. My freshman year of college, I joined a ton of clubs, dropped, I would say, a bit too many of them, thinking that I could pick them back up second semester or sophomore year, but the time never really came around, and by that point, it was even just harder to get in. There are a few clubs that I joined freshman year that I just wish I stuck through all four years. And maybe having a roommate at some point. I remember going into college saying or thinking that I want to stay in a single and not have any roommates. That ended up being the case all four years. But I feel like having a roommate sometimes, it's, it's fun. It can be really fun. My brother, for example, had roommates. And I feel like his college experience was a lot different because of that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Um, this was a ton of fun. Ho I hope you guys enjoyed the live stream. I hope the questions and answers here were helpful. I will probably be streaming again tomorrow night. Once again, I do wanna do these more consistently. But yeah, if I did not answer your questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram. And guys, be sure, oh, we have a super chat. Uh, Rami, thank you so much. And I think you've donated in previous streams as well. So <laughs> it's, I, I saw the notification as I was saying my goodbye. So let me just go ahead and read this. Oh, okay, off topic, but I'm considering starting a speed cubic channel. 
What's your top down shot setup like? So I have a ring light setup that has, so it's like, it's a, it's a ring light for desks that, and it comes with like an arm attached to it where you can uh, place your phone and then just have it face the table. There are products on Amazon like that. Maybe I can pull it up. Let's see. It might take a while to find, but on Amazon, I just recommend searching up tabletop ring light. And that and you'll probably find the exact one that I use. But speed cubing channel sounds fun. Best of luck starting that up. Okay, but yeah guys, again, thank you for tuning in. Once again, feel free to DM me on Instagram if you have any other questions. And yeah, join the Discord server because I hang out there every single day and I would love to see you guys there. And the link again is pinned to the stream chat. It's discord.gg slash gohar. But guys, thank you for tuning in and I'll hopefully see you all again tomorrow night.